do you think we should talk about today? Hello again, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hello again. What's up, everybody? Uh, video number two. So I wanted to talk about our little trip that I took my youngest son and my beautiful wife on to go see a little lighthouse and just to enjoy the water, beautiful weather, get some great photos, and talk a little bit about some cameras. Nola, why did the orange go to the doctor? Because he wasn't peeling well. Dad joke. And why do you have so much CDs? I have CDs because I'm old. Because nobody else has CDs anymore. You can't buy CDs anymore? You can buy them, just most people don't. Thank you for like one of the oldest ways to get stuff on. Yeah. Not quite sure where uh, where the lighthouse is, but uh, it sure is gorgeous. One of the questions I get every once in a while is what kind of camera should I get if I want to get into photography, i.e. my first camera. Um, from professionals, from amateurs, from first time beginners, I have heard this answer in several different ways. One of the most popular ones probably is to get a DSLR, which is what some people call a big camera where you can change the lenses and it gives you a lot of different functions and that might be the right option. That might be a terrible idea too. The best, the best thing to ask yourself is what do I want to do with a camera? Why do I want a camera? What kind of photos do I want to take? Do I want to make money with this? Do I want to have fun? Do I want to travel? If you don't have the mindset of the work that's involved in photography and you just think that I just want to have fun and I just want to take photos and, and maybe share them on Facebook or whatever, then don't, don't spend a lot of money on a camera. Uh, and this may be one of the first times you've heard a, a professional photographer say, your phone is fine. I have been using my phone more and more. It is a tool that can be used for what it's made for. So understanding what your phone can do can really broaden your spectrum of quality in your photos. You'll, you'll even see videos nowadays where they're comparing the new iPhone to a five or $10,000 camera. That's because an iPhone can take photos just as well within its own limits. Now, I'll, I'll repeat that. An iPhone can take perfectly good photos if you know its limits. Just like a $10,000 camera can take really, really good photos, it can also take really, really horrible photos if you don't know how to use it. If you're not going to take the time to invest in learning how to use a DSLR or a mirrorless camera or whatever it's going to be, I I suggest going cheap, uh, sticking with something that you know how to use, like your phone 
or a simple point and shoot and just have some fun. So a little bit about the trip, uh, my youngest son and I and my wife just decided let's go have some fun today, let's, let's get some photos, let's go visit the water and just see what we can get. And we, we, we love those days because it gives us an opportunity to spend some time together, to try some new things artistically because uh, frankly landscape photography is a new thing for me. Normally I think a photo is a little bit boring if there's not a person in it. That's just because I'm used to doing weddings. So portrait work is the most expressive form of photography I know how to do. So when I think of landscape photography, I think this is a little outside my realm. I have to think a little bit differently to capture the gravity of the moment, however artsy you want to say that. But with the recent addition to our Shaped by Michigan products and the fact that I quit my job and this is all I'm doing now changes your changes your vision on things. It changes your perspective to where I need to use my camera or I'm not gonna make any money. So so I'm challenging myself along with this vlog to also gain other forms of photography to try new avenues, to push my limits artistically. Um, and just to see where things go. And one of the fun things about photography is you never you never really know what you're gonna get. Is the weather gonna be terrible? Is the sunset gonna be breathtaking? It's January in winter in Michigan, so is the weather gonna be so cold that you can't feel your fingers? But it happened to be, I think, almost 40 degrees, so you, just, you never know. So uh, that's part of the adventure, part of the excitement about photography in general is there's challenges all over the place. I think that about wraps it up. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I just hope that you guys can have a good rest of the day and you can be surrounded by friends and family. And I will see you in the next video.